Studying pharmacology is tough. We make it easier by taking difficult drug names like saxagliptin, which sounds similar to sax griffin, to make a comical character to help you ace that test. Let's go! Oh, well, look at that! There's a new musical coming to town. Oh, it looks amazing! And it looks like we're not the only ones who think that. Better get our tickets! Alright, today we'll go over classes of drugs used to treat diabetes and examples within each class. To remind you of this, we want you to notice a poster on the wall for Diabetes the Musical. First up are the insulins, which are represented by the insulated gargoyle as he's wearing a jacket. The gargoyle with big lips is a short-acting insulin called Lispro. The zinc rock in his hands is an intermediate-acting insulin called Zinc. The jeans he's wearing is a long-acting insulin called Glargine. The next class are the biguanides, which are represented by the iguana on the foramen. The meat foramen is metformin, which is a commonly used drug in this class. Sulfonylureas are a class of drugs that are often used, and is represented by the cell phone. Sulfonylureas cell phone. Some examples are glybride, represented by the bride, and glycoside, which is a bride licking the lollipop. Next are the dipeptidyl peptidase 4 inhibitors, or DPP4 inhibitors. These are represented by the griffin, and the little inscription on the sacs helps you remember this. Examples include citagliptin, which is the sitting griffin, and saxagliptin, which is the sax griffin. This next class of drugs is a mouthful, the thiazolindindiones, which is represented by the thigh lid on the glittery man in the poster. Examples are rosiglitazone and pioglitazone, which are represented by the glittery man's rose and pie, respectively. Selective sodium glucose transporter 2 inhibitors, or SGLT2 inhibitors, is represented by the stop, <coughs> I mean SGLT sign. An example is canagliflozin, which is can frozen. Alpha glucosides inhibitors is represented by the car with the alpha bumper sticker. An example in this class is acarbos, represented by the car. Lastly, glucagon like peptide 1 inhibitors or GLP-1 inhibitors, is represented by the G on the car wheel's center cap. The example is exenatide, which is the orange X on the wheel. Alright folks, that's it for this video. To learn more about visual mnemonics and the drugs used in diabetes, including mechanisms of action and side effects, please check out our website at visuallearner.net. Happy studying!